Welcome to a brand new InShot picture-in-picture -picture tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to create your own cinematic black bars using the picture-in-picture -picture feature without downloading an image from Google. The first thing I need to do is tap on the video icon and then tap new to open a video project and select the default blank clip. Before you begin, you need to know two things, the length of your video clip and the orientation of your video clip. The clip I'll be using this on is vertical. So the first thing I'm going to do is stretch the blank clip out to its maximum length of 10 seconds. I'll long press on the end, then I'll tap on canvas, and I'll select the 9 by 16 ratio, and I'll tap on background and change my background color to black. You could use any color you wanted. You don't have to use black, but these cinematic bars usually are. Because my clip is longer than 10 seconds, the next thing I'll do is swipe over on the toolbar and tap the duplicate icon, which will give me another 10 second video clip. This means that the total length of my clip will be 20 seconds. This is fine because I'll fix it later on. The next thing I'll do is export my clip by tapping on the export icon and tapping save. And I'll wait for the export to finish. My clip has now exported. Now I'll tap on the back arrow and save that draft. Then I'll tap the video icon once more to open up another new project. I'll tap on new and select my vertical video clip. InShot remembers the last aspect ratio setting you used, so it should be set to 9 by 16 vertical video. And as you can see, it is. So I'll tap on the check mark. Now I can add my black bars. Now I'll tap on the picture in picture icon from the main toolbar, which will open up the video selection window and it will allow me to add my 20 second clip that I previously created. I'll tap on it and tap on the green check mark to add it to the project. As you can see, it appears in the center of the screen. All I need to do is move it to either the top or the bottom. I'll start with the top. As I move this clip up by long pressing on it, I'm also going to take two fingers and spread them apart to stretch the clip out so that the black clip covers the entire top edge of my main video clip. If I scrub to the end of the clip, you'll notice that the clip is a bit longer than the main clip. This is fine because one of the reasons I like InShot is you can easily line up your clips. Just tap on the end arrow and choose either video end or clip end depending on where you are and how many clips you have. In this case, I'll choose video end. Now the two clips line up perfectly. Now I'll scrub back to the beginning of the clip and just make a duplicate by tapping the copy icon. Then I'll slide my duplicate down to the bottom and make sure it looks exactly the same as the clip on the top. This is an exact duplicate so the length should already be set. Then I'll tap on the check mark. The clip looks great. Once it's finished playing, I can make any adjustments I need to and then I'll export the final clip. Tap on export in the upper right corner, set your resolution and FPS settings if you need to, and then tap save. Wait for the export to finish and don't interrupt it. The clip has now exported. For more great InShot tutorials, check out the links in the video description or one of these recommended videos.